So what do you make of Dorsey's comments there, specifically about tech regulation? Well, I think it's very far from the grand manifesto that Zuckerberg had. And when we wrote that story on Facebook calling for regulation, Twitter declined to comment. And even in this interview, you don't hear Dorsey specifically addressing all of the four points that Dorsey laid out. He does say, however, that regulation as a whole is a positive thing and that GDPR has been beneficial. He also admits that Twitter's terms of service is notoriously difficult to read and that it's brought some clarity around how exactly Twitter gathers data, how it's used. I think it's also worth mentioning that Twitter has less of an incentive to really play a strong role in the discourse around regulation. It's in their benefit to let Facebook set the tone for to let Facebook take the heat and any regulation that eventually comes is going to impact a giant like Facebook and Google much more than a much smaller platform like Twitter. I wonder if you know some of these tech CEOs are simply tired of being blamed for all of these problems and would like to shift the responsibility to somebody else. There is an interesting situation here where you have the CEOs who go out and trying to improve the public relations and the messaging around the company, but at the end of the day, we have to see the results in the company. And Jack Dorsey loves to have very idealistic visions about what the future of healthy conversation is going to be like on Twitter, but we haven't yet quite seen how that's exactly going to change in the product. Now, they have started iterating in a beta app. They're looking at ways to maybe de-emphasize the follower count, how many likes and responses people have, but to increase the uh, encouragement of healthy conversation that's not toxic. But that's still in testing phases. It's been more than a year since he's talked about this initiative, and we still haven't seen the results.